Hello, 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 and welcome to another Deke J. Wilson uh, video on Scratch. Now, for this particular video, I'm going to show you how to create health points for your uh, creation. So in the previous videos, I showed you how to get your batch to your characters or to, to chase each other. But as you see, nothing is happening. Um, so in order to create um, a little variable, which, which we'll call health points, what we're going to do is we're going to create a variable in sprite number one and one and uh, bat number one. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a variable. And I'm going to call this cat health. Okay. I'm going to make this available to all sprites. So now that I've created that, um, I'm going to go into events and then when the green flag is checked and then for the first thing I'm going to do is I need to give my cat some health points at the beginning. So I'm going to say set my cat health points to 100. OK, now what I need to do is I need to set a condition so that if the bat ever touches my cat sprite, then I need to uh, take some points off. So what we're going to do is in controls. And obviously, we're going to put this inside of a forever loop because we want this to be a condition that no matter what's going on, this if this condition is happening, then you want something to happen. So if, um, and I'm going to choose touching. So if my cat sprite is touching bat number one, then I'm going to go to my data and then I'm going to say change my cat health points by, let's say, negative one, okay? And so once I do that, if I click on the green flag, my cat or the, the bat coming, and as you see, my cat health points are going down, 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 and now it's past zero. So we need to do something. So when, um, when the cat's health goes beyond zero, we need to end the game. So what I'm going to do is I am going to add another backdrop. So I'm going to choose a backdrop from a library. I'm going to choose blue sky number two. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the backdrops scripts. And so I want to, I already put this here. So when the, when the green flag is, is uh, checked, go to backdrop number one. Okay, and backdrop number one is the clear white backdrop, okay? But on the blue sky, I'm going to add text to this, and I'm going to add it right about here, and I'm going to say the bat one, and try again, okay? So there's my backdrop switch when the bat, if... Uh, if the bat wins the game. So I'm going to go back to my cat and I'm going to go to my scripts here. Okay. And then I'm going to, again, put in another condition. So if I'm going to use one of my operators here. So if my cat points or my cat health is less than Let's say negative, I'm sorry, less than one. Then the first thing I want to do is I'm going to switch my backdrop to blue sky. And then I'm going to go to controls. And then I'm going to stop all. And what stop all means is it's stopping all script within the program. Okay. So now. When I click on the green flag, you see this my, my backdrop switches to the original backdrop. And now if I get touched by the bat, see my health points are going down. Now when it gets to zero, pal, game over, everything stops. Okay? So that is how if the bat uh, wins the game, then the backdrop switches and uh, you get to start over. Okay? So with that, Please make sure you watch out for other videos on cool tips and tricks on how to do things in Scratch. The end.